If you do this, your blood sugar will come down, guaranteed. Greetings, dear viewers. Welcome to the insightful world of better health practices. Before you proceed, hit that subscribe button, right? And tap the bell icon to stay on top of cutting edge health advice. From Dr. Ergen, who is an endocrinologist and a diabetologist practicing in Florida. Today we are diving into a guaranteed method to lower your blood sugar. Let's get those levels down, scientifically proven, with a pinch of wit. Starting off, remember the simple mantra, prioritize protein. Not just any protein, incorporating a variety of proteins into your diet is key, except for red meat, which should make a cameo only twice a week. Think of it as a guest star, not the main cast in your nutritional screenplay. Now, number two is plant proteins, transitioning smoothly to the vegetable realm. Let's shine a spotlight on plant proteins that graciously sidestep raising blood sugar. Quinoa, for example, a virtuous grain with a complete amino acid profile, holds its ground as a protein powerhouse. Before you forget, legumes like lentils, chickpeas, and black beans are they serenade us with their high protein content without missing a beat on blood sugar stability. And for those who tread the leafy greens walkway, spinach and kale are not merely garnishes, but unsung heroes cloaked in modesty, offering substantial protein goodness. Remember. Diversifying your protein sources can be as beneficial as diversified stock portfolio and almost as exciting. Now let's talk about some hydration protocol. Up next, embrace the warmed one cup of warm water with lemon or a preferred tea. For example, SugarMD Diabetes, right? SugarMD.com preps your metabolic stage before any meal. Think of it as the opening act for your digestion's main performance. How about early dining? That's number three. Consider time, not just an illusion, but a crucial factor. Have your evening banquet by 4 p.m. and let your digestive system enter a serene fast until the morning light. It is the perfect curfew for your calories. Number four, breakfast composition. Rise with the sun and break your fast with protein. Dodge those carbs as if they are blunders in a game of nutritional dodgeball, except for friendly berries and nonchalant yogurt. They are on your team. So make sure to start your day with a hearty dose of protein and a sprinkle of low glycemic fruits for sustained energy levels. Remember, Breakfast is not just the most important meal of the day. It could be the one to determine your blood sugar destiny for that day and for the future as well. How about exercise routine? That's number five. Moving our attention to physical activity 20 minutes, I'll say, to push your heart rate over the 120 beat per minute mark. Should this escalated tempo result in a chest discomfort, then it is probably a sign to consult with those who have letters like MD after their name, cardiologist. A balanced mix of cardio and strength training is the perfect recipe for improving insulin sensitivity, lowering blood sugar levels, and boosting overall health. And don't forget to hydrate well, really good, before, during, and after your workout. It is fuel for your body's engine. Remember, every step counts towards better health and stable blood sugar levels. So keep moving. If you cannot move, well, you'll probably be able to move something, right? Move our upper body, arms, whichever the body part works. Go for it. Now, number six is supplementation strategy. Now, supplements are not medications, but they are the allies to your health efforts. They are nutraceuticals. So starting with SugarMD Glucose Defense at breakfast and dinner, and the grand appearance of SugarMD Super Berberine at dinner again. Don't forget the nighttime supporting cast also. Like, for example, SugarMD Moringa Power, Benfetamine, Alpha-Lipoic Acid. You can do that at bedtime 
or closer to bedtime. Number seven, fasting flexibility. Well, intermittent fasting isn't just a trend, right? It is like hitting the reset button up to 16 hours, two to three times weekly. Now, your supplements can join the party during your eating hours, so you don't have to ignore them. Just ensure that they are spaced out like introverts at a social event, like at least four hours. Induced apoptosis through fasting is a real thing, right? We call that autophagy. Let's venture into the cellular coliseum where fasting orchestrates the apoptosis, the old non-functioning cells, a process akin to phoenix rising from the ashes, where our body cells opt for a graceful exit strategy rather than linger like some unwelcome guests. During intermittent fasting, cells go on a self-cleaning mission called autophagy, where they bravely clear out the debris to avoid a molecular mass. The synchronous dance between fasting and apoptosis not only helps in regenerating the cellular population, but also plays a part akin to a meticulous librarian, ensuring only the best genes and best cells remain in circulation. So when you are in the throes of fasting, remember, it's like your cells are getting a spa treatment while you dream of the buffet you will attend during your waking hours. Number eight, how about some educational segment? For culinary inspiration, I have a guide for you. A doctor's guide to diabetic diet that I have written for you isn't just a collection of recipes. It is a treasure trove of glycemic wisdom waiting to be explored. So go ahead, visit sugarmds.com to get your free copy today. Now, how about some community support? When you crave camaraderie, pull out the SugarMD app. It's like a social soiree for glucose-conscious individuals wanting to connect without the carbs. Share recipes, advice, and support with the fellow members who understand triumphs and struggle of managing blood sugar levels. Remember, you're not alone in this journey towards better health. Get in touch with a diabetic coach for free on the SugarMD app and share your data with your doctor and the family. And number 10, let's talk about some mindfulness. It matters. Don't forget to take a moment for yourself. Managing blood sugar levels can be overwhelming at times, but remember that your mental well-being is just as important as your physical health. Take breaks. Practice mindfulness techniques like deep breathing or meditation and find activities that bring you joy and relaxation. Remember, taking care of yourself holistically will only enhance your efforts in maintaining stable blood sugar levels. So in conclusion, managing blood sugar levels may seem like a daunting task, but with these 10 points in mind, it can become manageable. As we wrap this up, guaranteed method to lower your blood sugar levels, remember to prioritize protein intake, with a variety of sources, hydrate with warm water or tea, such as diabetes, and maintain a consistent eating schedule with early dinners and protein-rich breakfasts. Don't forget to incorporate exercise and supplementation into your routine, like sugar and bee supplements, and embrace fasting for its multiple benefits and seek support from the diabetic community via SugarMD app. And most importantly, take care of your mental well-being through mindfulness practices. Again, get all the support you can get from SugarMD supplements at SugarMDs.com. With these tips in mind, you're on your way to better health and stable blood sugar levels. So keep going. Remember, managing blood sugar levels may seem overwhelming, but with consistency and determination, you can do this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, Watch this video right there, I think that will help you too.